Hey everyone, Josh Galvin with Tizish.com doing another video tutorial on how to set up notifications with your contact forms, which is the Gravity Forms contact system. So let's just get to the point and show how to set up notifications. I'm here in my admin panel on my forms section, and here are three forms I have set up. I've been using this one as the demo, so I'm going to keep using this for the sake of consistency. So here I am on request to home value. You see when I hover over it, how all these options appear. I could click edit and then this other one called notifications. Go ahead and click on that. Click on notifications. Now this is where we're going to set up the notification that me as the admin admin is going to receive and then and then the notification is going to be emailed to the user. So here's a recommendation on how to use this. First of all, activate both. So let's just click on that and then let's click on this second one and now we have them activated so now we need to put in the details so this first one send to email this is who do you want to receive the lead so let's just say Josh I, I want to receive the lead Josh Josh at you know email.com I me I'm the admin I want to receive all leads on this form of request home value so I put my address here now who do you want the email to be from and um, I like to use the same address just so for consistency meaning the email that you receive as the admin who do you want it from just change that as well and then now here on subject line I like to put whatever the form is so this is a request a home value so I like to put request a home value inquiry from and then whatever your website name is so demo this is a demo site demo.tizish.com and now this is the important part. Under message, you need to do this. Click this drop down and put all submitted fields. What this does is this is going to email you all the fields that they have entered and wanted to contact you about. So that's everything for that section. And uh, ignore everything else. That's all you need to do. The next one now is the email for the user, which is the person that filled out the form. What email are they going to receive? All right, so what you got to do is the following do the from email make it the same person whoever you want to be from so let's just say I'm doing Josh as an example I do from now the subject line this is what I like to do I like to do kinda of similar to mine you know I like let this is a home value request so home home value request from and then your website name demo.tizish.com received so it's just letting them know what this is and then now under the message I like to do something like this, just a regular greetings, you know, greetings, can't spell, greetings, <laughs> greetings, and then I just like to put a quick message, you know, your inquiry has been, has been received, received, we will get back to you in like, you know, very soon, ASAP, 24 hours, we will get back to you within 24 hours. And then I always like to end it with this. Here is what you sent us. And I do colon. And what I do now at this point, I click on the drop down and I select all submitted fields. So now they're going to see what they had sent over to us as well. After doing that, I'll click on save settings and then I'm all set. Now it says notification updated. Now you're all done. So that's how you set up your notifications. Alrighty, if you have any questions, email me at training at tizish.com. Take care.